In this video, we're going to learn how to take an existing wall and modify it to create a 2x4 uh, exterior wall with cedar wood siding. What I'm going to do here is select a wall type and I'm going to make it the brick exterior uh, on a metal stud. What that's going to do is it's going to allow us to have some default settings that are a little bit of a shortcut for us. We're going to go to edit type in the properties palette. Over here, we're going to duplicate this wall so we don't override this one because we still want to have the option to use it. And I'm going to make it say exterior, and it's going to be a two by four wall with wood cedar siding. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to go to edit the structure. And inside this structure, I'm going to edit this material first. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to make sure that I can see the materials library down here. I'm going to search for plywood first. Up here, I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to click on this icon here, the sphere with the plus sign, and I'm going to go to duplicate selected material. I'm going to name this uh, cedar siding. And I'm going to name it two because I think I already have one saved from a previous demo. I'm going to double click in on cedar siding. You can see that's assigned here now. Just making sure that that worked. Over here, I'm going to edit some things for it. So I'm going to click on pattern. I'm going to change this pattern to be a horizontal small line type. Say OK. And that's going to give the effect when we're in the shaded view in Revit, we're going to see this, uh, this pattern. Then I want to go and I want to actually assign it to a cedar material. So I'm going to open up the asset browser by clicking on this icon down here. In the asset browser, we're going to search for cedar. Make sure you're spelling with an AR at the end. Click on Cedar, throw that over into your project. We can see that now this material is assigned to this. We can hit Apply, and then we can hit OK. Now we have our Cedar siding. Let's finish one location towards the exterior side of the wall. This is as if you're looking at it from the top down. We're going to change that to a half inch thickness. Since this was a brick wall, there was an air gap. We don't need that air gap anymore, so highlight the whole column by clicking on the number, hit Delete. Membrane layer for a vapor retarder, we're going to keep in there at zero inch thickness. If I click on the three dots, um, we can clip, uh, click on or type in vapor retarder. That's like a tie back. I'm going to say OK. That would be stapled to our sheathing that is then attached to a two by four wood stud. So two by four wood studs are made out of pine. So we search for pine. Softwood lumber comes up. That's what pine is. It's a soft wood. I'm going to say OK. It's a framing material. And a 2x4 uh, is actually 3.5 in width. And then we have basically um, this, this vapor retarder right here would be the backing on insulation that we have in there. And then we have our half inch gypsum on the inside. And we're going to say OK. So now that we have our structure for that, say OK. And now our walls have changed. In this scenario, my walls haven't lined up. So what I'm going to do is click on the Align tool. I'm going to select this edge. I want that to pop to it. And then now I have my walls aligned. And that's because of how I made this before. It, it jogged over like that. And that is all you need. When you go into 3D view, you'll see that in my project, the Rendering appearance, the realistic appearance, makes it look like a wood shake siding. But if I go to shaded, you're going to see the horizontal lines line up based on the pattern that we had chosen. Thanks, and don't forget to subscribe.